Hello world, Way of Time here, bringing to you another episode of EE e. Power. So let's jump right into things, shall we? Ah, uh, it would have been funnier if I started with that, you know? Okay, now this is getting a little glitchy for some reason, not sure why. Maybe if I put this here. Okay, so let's see, 17, 18... 18, 19, 18, huh. Yeah, that's very glitchy dynamics right now. It's like it's varying. Ah. Okay, so we need to fix that at any rate. Let's go with some of the alterations that I did. Now, if you look at the system, going through the initial start, it starts here then goes through both of those nodes and as you see it goes down to this goes to the storage tanks but the clever eye would note that this is actually a loop a closed loop meaning that well if you would think that since the pumps are making it go all in a circle that it would all continually go in a circle but that is thankfully not the case what I did was I employed some math in this. So if you look at this, I changed the location of this pump. So it was moved forward quite a bit earlier, and there was only one of these bellows. And it's a perfect mirror image on the other side with the taint there instead. Now what I made sure was I counted every single conduit that was between the pump and this point right here. Now what makes this point special, the thing I'm looking at right now, is that I wanted to make it so that there would be no uh, no suction whatsoever at this point. So there'd be one suction right there but no suction there. As you know, Vs and Taint travels down conduits going from one number to the highest adjacent number. Since this is a zero to this conduit's mine, this thing is a zero. And since this is a zero also, there's no suction. And these don't, you know, switch. But this conduit right here, it sees this one as zero, but this is one. So all the stuff gets sucked from there down the tube, down, down, and through back here to its respective tank. Of course, the tank is getting glitched because this is so full right now. We can probably solve it just by doing that temporarily. But there are a few suction challenges that we are going to need to rectify. One of them is figuring out where to put one of these tanks so that it'd suck everything else out. Eh. We need more tanks, basically. To sum it up, we need more tanks. We're going to need to figure out where to put more tanks. And we're going to have to figure out how to manage all of those tanks while two things are happening. One, we're able to fill the tanks up. And two, we're able to take stuff out of the tanks to be used later. That's going to be a bit of a difficult situation, so let's do another thing that I want to look at right now. As you know, these Brazier of Souls, they are able to suck up uh, the, vis the aura and the taint aura around in adjacent chunks. And these condensers take out all of the taint or vis from the atmosphere and turns it to taint or vis. So, oops, my fancy pants are out of energy, aren't they? Yep, they're pretty much out of energy. Huh. <sighs> fancy pants away. Sidetrack, anyways, as I was saying, hmm, as I was saying, basically that means we can take out all the vis and the taint from an area. So, what I think I'm going to do is this 
place is pretty much buttoned up. I'm going to take the upgrades from these, well, condensers so that I can move them later. Because we will eventually want to move it. Take that and that, and we'll want to figure out where to put that later. I'll button up the floor, take away these Totems of Dawn, and go on with my life. Now, you're probably thinking what I'm going to do next. What I'm planning to do is take the Totems away, put the floor as a nice, well, actual floor. Wouldn't that be nice? And figure out where to put a whole whack of condensers. The more condensers I have means the quicker I can take stuff from the atmosphere into, well, you know, into my tanks. And also, if I put Totems of Dawn on the ground, all connected to each other, all in a single chunk, it'll mean that I'm able to boost the aura and as you see with this area, it started at like 2,000 and now it's like 6,000. I can raise up the Vs levels again. So what I'm planning to do is make condenser arrays. Maybe find some easy way to fill them. Maybe from the bottom with logistics pipes. And then I should be able to fill up the place with a lot and lot and lot of Vs. With these totems. <sighs> so that means I'm going to need to craft Totems of Dawn. That is going to be a bit of a task, seeing as I'd have to go into my Vis uh, forest and grab a lot of logs. Totems of Dawn, I think, is in the Tainted. Yep, I will need Nitors, Vis Crystals, and Silverwood Logs. I'll also need a wall to put a bunch of crystals to grow, since... Well, they don't grow themselves, thus I think it'd be a very good idea to do so. So I'll maybe dig out a tidy area for that and put some more recipe uh, infusers on this ground. So I'll start doing that and see you in a few. Okay, it looks, well, I must say it looks rather empty without all of that uh, stuff everywhere. But somewhat empty is kind of good. What we could do, though, is do a few minor alterations. Not alterations per se, but additives. We need to add a few things. Well, we need to add that enchanter. Now that I got the recipe ready, I can probably make it. So let's see. Enchanter probably over here. I need uh, extract of purest magic, which should be easy enough. Just will need glass bottles again, but I will need two of them, so I will thus need two glass bottles of water. I'll also need more shimmer leaves, which will be an errand that I can probably do right now, though let's get this over with first. Put this in. Wait. Okay, now that I have the extract of purest magic, I can get started on the other things. I've got the uh, extract, I've got one single conduit, and I'm going to need to make one more thing. Um, hmm. What is that one more thing? An enchanting table. That will take four obsidian, a book, and two diamonds. The obsidian I probably have somewhere very handy, but not right here, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, I must say. But the diamonds I'll have to create using some of the gold that I have over. I'm also going to need to recharge my fancy pants. Don't look. I'm very shy. But we're also going to need to get that book, which I probably don't have the ingredients for right now. Okay, also I need to dump all of my earthen crystals into here because I, well, need to make earthen, put earthen crystals for some of the upgrades I put in. Okay, 
let's see make diamonds with gold got two that'll be good two diamonds now for the obsidian <sighs> I can go back to my big old lava pool that I have conjured somewhere and make the obsidian myself and I'll also get that book by using the sugar cane hasta la vista baby okay I think I've got all of the desirables two diamonds for awesomeness one single book just because and we got four pieces of obsidian for an enchanting table put this in with the rest of the stuff and it's going to probably take forever and a beyond to make it there we go we got our first very 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 first atomic enchanter place down look at all of the thomicness now I can't obviously make anything with that since it'd be annoying also I don't really have any sort of ooh that was a awesome book why can't normal ones be that awesome? Anyways, Thalm Enchanter, I've got it. Now I will need to make the Occultic Enchanter. I think, th is that uh, Tainted Knowledge? That's probably Tainted Knowledge, probably requiring a Dark Infuser. Does it? Hmm. Forbidden. It seems a little forbidden. Morbid and everything. Ah, uh, there we go. We need an Extract of Pure's Magic. Got it. We need a Brain in the Jar. Can I deconstruct my current brains in jars? If I can, I'll just rip all of those out. Anyways, that and that I'll put in for now. And let's uh, actually put on our fancy pants and run over to see if we can create it. If we can, great. If not, that should be a bit of a problem. Okay, over here so that it's quick and please 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 yes we can deconstruct the brains in jars so while I deconstruct this let's talk about the awesome things that we're gonna do I'm gonna need to make a diamond sword just because because well diamond swords are awesome I'll also eventually want to go to an expedition on one of my forest worlds that I made the reason it's a forest is because well, forests have a very, very, very high level of vis, ambient auras, meaning that there will be a lot of silver wood, silver log, or, yeah, silver wood, yeah, silver wood trees. Because of that, it will be a lot easier to, well, get all of the silver wood logs that will be necessary to make my, eh, word escapes me bunch of totems of dawns totems of dawns will be needed because well just because I said so okay stop contradicting me because you will not like it okay got this what the heck random chicken got that okay now running way over here we can throw one oops one brain in jar in stop doing all this as I was saying, you can throw one brain in jar in here, and after it finishes enchanting it, we can throw one brain in jar in here, and after it's finished enchanting it, we can put a very good uh, area in which to, you know, enchant. <sighs> yeah I'm awesome you know it okay that's gonna take a bit of time so now we're going to need to do two things one of them well three things actually after all of this loads please thank you we're going to need to build three things we're going to need to make a lot of brazier souls to put down in an area to gather all of the vis and taint from the surrounding chunks. We'll also need to make a lot of vis condensers to gather all that out of the chunk and then 
put it all in our nice lovely tanks. We'll also want to finally put this enchanter to good use because you know we just built it. You know that's very sinister. A little too sinister for my taste. So let's make that bloody good sword. Yeah. About that way. About that. Okay. Two diamonds here. Let's make another diamond, shall we? Yeah. There we go. Two diamonds. And if I have enough materials, we can get the most important part of this build. Get the stick, get the two diamonds, and check. Good. Now this brain thing that wants to rule everything. Let's put it down here just for fun and see what it can give us. If we put our diamond sword here, not too good of stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Fire aspect. We can get sharpness, smite, bane of arthropods. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I just wasted a lot of these, didn't I? Oh, well, it's better than, you know, getting useless stuff that on my sword. I don't want useless stuff on my sword because it is awesome. Okay. What the heck happened there? Okay. This place is getting really glitched out, and I have no bloody clue why. So, let's try to remain calm and figure out some nice chunk divides. So, chunk divided there. And so, okay. When we walk in here, what's the first thing we're going to see? We're going to see tanks on each side. We're also going to see these lovely tables. We also want an ability to walk down into a maintenance area. Because there's going to be a bunch of glass on these, housing all of our Vise condensers. So Vise condenser, one layer lower than that. So right there, Vise condenser. And they'll have crystals in them, and it'll be a glass roof. And underneath them, because we will want to eventually go underneath them, we'll have some uh, pipes, supplier pipes. We'll need to supply each and every one of them with a crystal. We'll also thus need some room that houses a bunch of crystals. This stuff will... Why are there always slimes that want to kill me? Uh, it's like their favorite pastime. So let's just build some stairs down into our layer of doom. Because that's what it's going to be. So let's see. We'll want it nice stairs down. So like this. And I'm not sure what's a good depth for it. We'll want to have a good ceiling. And am I in that time where I am not explaining things properly? Probably am, so let's try to explain this. We're going to have a few layers. These condensers all on the ground with glass on top of them. So that we can see the crystals and see how many of them actually have crystals. We'll also have supplier pipes underneath them supplying one crystal per. Now, hopefully I can actually manage to have it so that it will put the crystals in the correct area right here. And all of them will be Vs crystals because we'll be growing mainly Vs crystals. We'll also have underneath, because we'll want to be underneath, a bunch of, a big wall of the crystals. I think I said that. And the wall of the crystals will be great. Like a great wall of crystals. Nah, I need to... S yeah, I'm just going to dig this out since I have the means to. You better stand back. 
and then I'll try to formulate my thoughts into coherent and cohesive terms. Now, for those of you asking, being sane? Totally overrated. Got quite a bit of gold just from digging up this area. Two pieces of gold for this? Come on, that's just like so awesome. Anyways, so we got our simple these condensers right here. We only have two of them right now, but I'm hoping to rectify that in the future with more uh, condenserness. But we're going to need to make a few uh, minor adjustments to this. For instance, we're going to actually need some these crystals. Since we kind of demolished our wall of these crystals from earlier, we're going to have to pretty much restart that entire wall pretty slowly, I might add. And we got enough for five, so let's place those five down on here. Oops, didn't want that to be there, but oh well. Okay, so now crystals have an added benefit of raising up the aura of the area. So what we can also do is create a few more crystals that we can make. We'll, we'll need quite a few vaporous crystals. So let's just make some of those ores. Uh, segregated, so let's see. This is the center. We'll want a center 5 block. 5, 6, 7. I want to have them 5 by 5 by 5. No, just 5x5 five five blocks. And we'll also eventually, it's sad to say, we will need tainted crystals in our setup because we're going to use a lot of tainted crystals. So let's make the tainted Vs ores and probably not put them here, but in a temporary location in a high, Vs, a high taint area. So tainted area go blah blah we can set our uh, thing over there the thaumatic crystallizer to make some tainted ones but for now this is a good setup now we'll need a lot and a lot and a lot of condensers they require a bunch of the magical wood of awesome so we can set that up into our array of builders and we can probably make some of those also uh, we can make some of the enhancements like the quick silver sliver or whatever and the stabilized singularity we'll also need to make the supplier pipes i think the supplier require lapis supplier Supplier pipes, yes, they require lapis. Lapis, lapis, lapuas, lapashua. I have no clue, but bugger me. I have no bloody clue. Okay, so let's make a few more of those uh, crafting logistics pipes, which should be a simple endeavor. Figure out what goes where. We'll want to put one here and the others, and you don't need to see this. It is top secret. Okay, I got the required condensers right here. I'll just add some simple um, enchantments to our list. I think we will need nine of these, and we're missing charcoal, but we can probably get eight of those. Now, our charcoal, where is our stinking charcoal fuel we got charcoal here so that means that it is not seeable let's just throw this in here kill the slime <sighs> if only I could find a way to push those buggers away eh, ah well do I even have enough V's to make all of these probably not let's see no, probably not. Okay, let's take this off. Allow 
that to flow when this gets to its maximum seeing as this is almost out to okay we can probably only get like 10 more quicksilvers no not even okay at any rate we got the quicksilvers we don't have the stabilized singularities as of yet we might be able to just craft them but anyways let's put the remainder of our condensers down here and let's might as well put a glass roof just for show because we'll be able to walk in and see that it's misaligned yay eh, fear not fear not it will be fixed eventually but what we can do right now ooh crud there we go is put this up to the network just by putting some simple conduits since everything's pretty much connected it we won't have to worry finally we can put our supplier pipes after you know upgrading every single one of these I don't think any of them are upgraded so we'll need a few more of these so two more stabilized ones and yeah okay Sidetracked. Put these down. Yeah. And get some simple pipes as well as a chest. A chest will do wonders. Oh, there's our other two. Chest. Upgrade. And let's just try by putting... I don't have any more V's crystals, that's a problem, so let's try putting an aqueous in here and see what happens. Aqueous crystal, this only requires one aqueous crystal, and we can get our pipes to come down. Let's just do it straight down, straight down. Ah, tricky maneuvering. Crafting, no, that's not what I need. I need the provider pipe because items will be provided from that location. Thank you. And now that our test rig is complete, we can try putting one aqueous crystal. It should be taken out. And it's in the wrong slot. That's really annoying. What we can do to rectify that is try putting that in and seeing after we get uh, one of those depleted crystals whether or not it'll still do the exact same thing. Let's try. Just do that. And it'll probably just, yep, get thrown into the wrong place yet again. So let's wait for this to deplete and it'll be yet another long and arduous annoyance. But man, that looks cool. While we're waiting for that, since this is going to take so much of our Vs, we should also counteract that. To counteract that, we're going to need uh, quite a few Totems of Dawns. So let's just make a bit of a furrow in here. That's 12. Um, this is 15. 18. 19. 20. Eh, that'll be good. 20! So let's put 20 Totems of Dawn here. These will also be a good light source since, you know, they're a bit, you know, dawny. Dawny, haha. <laughs> to show. Oh, they're not a light source. Oh well. I guess I'll have to put torches in here, or when this is eventually a glass roof, we'll be able to do that. Now, it's taking the now the Vs isn't able to get out of here because that thing up there is taking all of the limelight, so to speak. So we're going to have to turn this off by taking the remainders of the crystal so that it can actually move. Uh, because that's a bit of a tiresome debacle. Though I think the Vs is raising right now. 
We're going to need to turn some of these into the taint destroyers. Though we can destroy some of our taint right now just by going over here using three of the crystals. Let's use one of the crystals right now and focus on drawing in some of it into this center area. And we got a nice four chunks that we can work with. Apparently this used to be, uh, you know, non-grass. Huh. The more you know. Okay, finally, there's a, you know, crystal in it. So let's try to see if we can manage to put bloody crystals in it without it jumping back at us. So, um, no, no, wait, yes, no, it's attempting, it's failing, it's getting deleted. The bloody crystal is getting deleted. No, not deleted, thank goodness. But still, it means that I cannot add the crystals automatically to these. Which is a pain in the butt. You know, just... Uh, build craft logistics pipes. Not playing nice. Now, I could do another method. Instead of this, I could try uh, connecting them to the non-build craft ones. The... It starts with an R and ends in Ed Power. If you don't know what it is, you're crazy. Okay. I can get the tubes ready. And if I have any source, I actually have levers. Perish the thought. Okay, put this down probably in a better location like this. Tubes going here and into here good and we'll need one more thing a lever and these oops I should put a transposer but anyways let's try that it is not an accepted location obviously so there goes that idea also so what I'm probably going to have to do is shivers for dramatic effect have to put each of these in manually. I do not like that option much, but if that's all I have, I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. Now, I could, if I could, maybe get them to go in another way by having them not as side to side and try to figure out a way to put the stuff in by the side. Uh, let's try that as a last-ditch effort, having this here, not crafting, but these, this, I'll put that away for now, have this go at the side, requesting a single crystal, sure, why not, there, okay, and have this connected, and watch the bloody magic happen. I'm guessing nothing's gonna happen. Actually, oh, it's on, great. Finally, it works. It's not working exactly how I planned it for it to work, but it's actually working. So that means we have a process in which we'll be able to do this. Now that means I will need to have it slightly different setup than how I wanted it. No. Uh, I'll mean I'll have to have a slightly different setup as I wanted it. I'll need to use my wand of reversals. But it will mean that I have a possibility of solving this issue very quickly and efficiently. Maybe not as space efficient as I'd hope it would be, but it's efficient enough as it is. Now let's see... Hmm. There are a few methods we can do. If we wanted to be really fancy and space efficient, 
ha 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 yes i had an epiphany it was very painful but it there we are take all of these back i'm missing one where is it did i only have this many maybe the wander reversal failed it's possible anyways put this on my finger. No, it just failed. Okay. Now, one method of doing this is a rather simple one. Having this moved to here instead and doing a bit of a snaking. This will go here where it will fill in all of them with the required nice niceties hopefully I have no idea how this will actually work but if we fill this with all of the required crystals put one blue crystal in here it should put a blue crystal in each and every single one of them good uh, okay we got well, not every single one of them, obviously. Up, oh, it just takes time to register the fact that it needs more crystals. Now we'll need to uh, obviously have to connect all of them by conduits. But when we have a nice crisscrossing pattern, it'll all just go from one to the other or stuff like that. Now, no, wait, hmm. Yeah, that will work. That will work. Just need to take these out because they only take put V's to one another and not others. So take this and this. Might have destroyed some of the V's. But what matter? There, some of it's flowing. Actually, I think all of it's flowing except that. And there, there's the rest of it flowing. So it goes from this, this, and onwards. Okay. Now we're going to do a bit of a checkerboard pattern with this eventually. So we'll have to take these out. And this, and that, and that. <sighs> have it set to an odd one, aren't I? Okay. So these four are powered by that. So say we have another one right here. This one will... Uh, actually, let's see. Like that, 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 and that. We'll then have another supplier pipe go to this. It's not going to be as pretty as the others, but whatever. I guess that can't be helped, really. Going to need a logistics pipe here. A standard one, but we don't have any standard, so let's just put that there. So it registers both of them. And we can put a single crystal here. But we don't have any of the upgrades on yet, so let's put those upgrades on. One, two, three, four. And it looks like we're going to have to... Hmm. Where did those others go? Probably had them somewhere. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that seems to be working at any rate. We'll basically do a checkerboard array, kind of like this. Not really checkerboard, but you get the picture. It'll continually feed them. And when we get those last two crystals to go into here, we'll have everything working nice and cozily. Come on, put the crystals there. You know you want to. One there. Let's just speed up the process. And have the rest of it. Oh, why are you getting like that? I only wanted one. Hmm. Guess it'll keep on going until the sun comes down or something like that. I have no idea. <sighs> well, I'll try to figure out how to optimize this setup, but I don't think it will really ever be truly optimized. 
No, it won't be optimized ever, probably, because of the logistics pipe not liking me. I think manual will give me less headaches, so why don't we just do manual so we don't kill someone? Because, frankly, killing someone will ruin my day. Well, ruin the other person's day, at least. Take the rest of these crystals out so we can get along with our lives. Okay, now I did do a bit of thinking of how to best change this model so that it will be able to accept and have things flow much better. We're going to have to take out this wall slightly in order to do our magic. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Later. We're going to also have to wait for this request to finish. I think that's done. Um turn this off for a bit and have everything suck everything back up hopefully it might take a bit of strenuous effort though I think it does have it in it evidently it doesn't so suction suction 444 four, four, that's a little stagnant no suction whatsoever shouldn't you uh, suck anyways let's uh oh they're both full that would explain things, but fear not, I've made a few storage tanks for which we'll be able to use and take all of that uh, tasty, tasty vis out of the system, and also we won't need the other types because these come pre-prepared with awesomeness. Yes, I just kind of made that up. Anyways... Let's just have those fill up so that we can take this out of the picture and this. That might help. And how it is right now is that the Vs just goes into the tanks and it can be uh, taken out. Oh, these have a lower storage capacity than the other ones. Huh. Well, I guess I'm going to have to switch back to these things because I don't want a low storage capacity. Uh, but I'll just empty those out for now for demonstration purposes. Actually, no, let's just put that one more down. That should be enough for which we'll be able to do future things. Though we can put those together and it might conjoin. Anyways, the thing that we're going to do is modify it slightly so that Instead of having the going into the tank and going out of the tank going for the same place, we're going to have them go to different areas. So this will be the input line where all of it initially goes. Then it'll have to go in... Nah, wait for it. There we go. Now, when it goes in, it'll be there and everything and the path should be clear for future use. However, we'll want to have an output feed so that the stuff can get sucked out by a very powerful pump here. Like so. Pulling in and everything. Now the beauty about this is that these uh, crystals that are no longer filled with crystal happiness can continue working their I won't use that same joke anymore. They'll be able to continue working and working and working until that's full of mm, Vs awesomeness. Now let's see. Does it connect? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, these will be able to connect and take out all of the V's and this will be the output line. So the beauty about the output line is that it won't clog up the input. So it doesn't matter how much this is pulling, when this tube gets full we can still pump in more and more and more V's into the tanks because it kinda rolls like that. Now let's see, tanks still good now the thing that I'm going to need to do yes it connects is instead of just having these tanks we're going to want to uh, dial it down a bit and we'll want to be able to put some Thaumian reinforced tanks now the reinforced tanks will require 
A few more uh, things than the normal tanks. Let's see. Let's get our Thomic Dictionary. I think it's in our Tainted Knowledge. Yep, it'll require a Thaumian ingot and a v storage tank, and we'll also need to be able to make the Thaumian ingot for use later. But that will take more Vs crystals, which obviously we don't have. Though I did find quite a few of these crystals in here, which we'll be able to put on our wall so that we'll be able to expedite the process. Sure, it will cost a bit to start off with, but it's an investment well worth having. Also, this system, ah, oh, no, it's raining. This system isn't really satisfactory, so what I'm probably going to have, instead of having a glass ceiling and reloading these manually by putting these in, ah, such a child, I'll be able to have a wall of these instead and maybe devise some sort of computer system to automatically or manually, but this time by a click of a button on the computer screen, fill up the area with Vs goodness. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. We have time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day.